Hey, we're talking a little bit of pitching today, specifically about scap load and how to teach it, and the inverted W and how to teach away from it. A few weeks ago, I wrote an article on this matter, and I'm going to leave the link below, by the way, so if you haven't read that yet, go check it out. But I talked about how I like to teach these things or teach away from the inverted W. And really, the specific movement of, of, a, of a scap load where, this, where you're pinching that back together. If you don't know what a scap load or inverted W is, you definitely got to read the article first and then come back here. But if, you, if this is for you guys who know what I'm talking about. The way to teach this or teach away from the inverted W is going to be what you do before that. Because I believe that whatever happens at this point is in effect to what you do beforehand. Okay, and what I see a lot of, uh, made, also made another video a while ago, a few years ago, about how the hands separate and where your hands should go, uh, where your arms should go at hand separation. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave an annotation right here. You definitely got to check that one out too because that's how I teach the scap load. Okay, and teach away, at the same time, teach away from the inverted W. Now, in, in that video, when you watch it, you'll see that a lot of coaches will teach to break down this way open up here and then what happens is instead of getting into a scout load the pitchers are going to get high with their elbows and they're going to get into that inverted W especially when they're trying to gain momentum going forward they're going to get to that inverted W which is going to put a lot of stress on their shoulder okay but if you do as I suggest in that video and break your hands down and come to this position naturally after this happens when you go to open up you're going to get into a scout load and the timing of that is much better. So instead of here, getting that W, you're gonna be here, boom, and then into that scap load. So it's gonna be out at the 45 degrees, and then as that player naturally pulls that glove in, he's gonna pinch those scaps together. So when it comes to scap load and the inverted W, don't try to teach it specifically, okay? Or don't try to learn it specifically. Don't try to pinch those shoulder blades back together. All you're trying to do is get into a good position before that. And what that is, is breaking the hands low, 45 degrees closed or more, and then bringing that glove and you're into a good scat load and the elbows aren't getting too high. So, hope that helps. Please go read the article if you haven't and watch the other video, which the other video is embedded in that article, so you can watch that video too. So, definitely go check out that, uh, that article. And I'd love to hear your comments there on the blog. So, hope that helps. Remember, pitch to succeed, don't pitch to not fail. All right, guys, fuck you soon. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and then join the free newsletter at yougoprobaseball.com.